In this video, I'm going to go over creating a custom group in the WP Job Manager visibility plugin with packages created using the WooCommerce paid listings or the WP Job Manager uh, packages plugin that I also uh, have. Now, this is required. The packages plugin is required if you want to be able to create groups that can be assigned to uh, packages. The, it is possible to assign a group to any one of the packages, either job packages, these are visibility ones, or WooCommerce paid listings packages. And what this will do is this allows you to, when you're creating a group, this will allow you to assign a specific package that can be associated with that group. So when you create the visibilities, that visibility will check if that user has one of those packages. If they do, then they will be considered as though they are a part of that group. So let's go ahead and create one here real quick. And let's select on here what we will say, um, we'll just say job packages. And that's what we'll call the group. So job packages, we'll say starter. So as long as they have any of these job packages, we want to consider them in this group. And you'll notice you can also select the paid listings packages as well. These are for submitting listings. Uh, it's completely up to you how you want to set them up, um, but I'm just going to go do this one real quick. Now, as you can see over here on the right, we have the priority. This is by default is 10. The lower the number this is, the higher the priority is. You can click on the help tab here and priority to get an example to go over this for you to explain it a little bit more. Um, but basically this is to help you uh, configure and deeply, you know, kind of set up different groups, custom groups and set them up so you can get your site working exactly the way you want. So I'm gonna go ahead and publish this one. And you'll notice now, once we get back to our groups, you'll notice we now have a job packages group. And we'll have that, we have that set at a priority of 10. You'll see we also have some other custom groups I've created in here. Now, to explain the priority, the way the priority works is you'll notice, um, <clears throat> so I actually think I have a, let me go to my account page on this one. I have a package on here. So I have a plus package to view five, 10, okay. And I'm set up as job candidate. So what I'm gonna do then is I'm gonna come back over here. And so you'll see right here, I have candidates. I have this set at a priority of five, but I have job packages set at a priority of 10. Now, if I had a visibility configuration set up for the job packages, uh, which is a priority of 10, that say was hiding the uh, job description field, and then I had the candidates one here that is set at five, but I have that one showing the job visibility field or the job description field, the lower the number is what's gonna take priority. So that would cause that field to be shown. So I will give you a quick example of how that works on here. So with this, so we're actually at candidates, so I need to change this around. So let's change job packages and let's change this priority. Let's change this down to one. Update. And now let's go in here and let's create a visibility for that and our job packages group. And what I'm gonna put on here is I'm gonna say on here, so let's see what visibilities are set. So on this packages, I'm gonna set on here the visible fields. So as you can see on here, a lot of them, the majority of them I have set to hide fields. So on here we have this set to hide the application company phone. So you'll see here on all these, we have the company phones are hidden. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna then change and set this, so if they have a job package, I want them to be able to see the company phone. Now, the way this works, the visible fields, I've, I've found a lot of clients have been confused by this, um, and they start just putting every field they want that group to be able to see. The only time you need to put a field on here to be visible is when you have another configuration that is hiding that field. Because by default, all the fields are gonna be shown. So unless there is another configuration on here that is hiding, that field, the only time you need to add it as a visible field is if it's being hidden. So you'll see here, all except admin and employers, that means that the user account I have, which is a candidate, which is a priority 10, is gonna be under this one. And because I have it set to hide the company phone, that means that the company phone is gonna be hidden. So now adding this new configuration, I'm telling it if that 
regardless of who the user is, if they have a job package that I set up in that custom group, I want them to be able to see the company phone. So I'm going to publish this. That's configured. Now I need to make sure that I actually have this enabled for jobs and resumes. Let's go ahead and do that. Refresh that. So now you'll see, now we have job packages. And as long as they have a job package, and this is the group priority was one, if you remember, then I want it to show the company phone. And so that means that it'll go through here, the user current user viewing the site matches this group right here. So we're gonna hide all these fields. It also matches this group. So then we're gonna hide these fields with whatever those placeholders are, but we also wanna show these ones. So what that happens is that it hits this one, then it hits this one, and then this one, because it goes from the highest number down to the lowest. So that means that company phone will be shown. So now we come over here, and let's go ahead and view this listing that we had previously viewed. And now as you can see, it's showing the company phone. Now if I come back over here, and we will just go ahead and trash this one right here. And that's gonna basically remove the configuration for me real quick, just so I can show you as a demo. And I come back over here, refresh the page, Candidates are restricted from seeing telephone numbers. Now, if you come back over here and you'll see the candidates, see company phone we have there. And you'll notice now when I look at it, candidates are restricted from seeing telephone numbers. And the reason that this is showing that is because the candidates um, priority is set at five. Whereas this one right here that this user does match is set at 10. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and come back over here and I'm going to enable the debugging, which you should only do this if you are on a local site or something that somebody's not going to be able to see this. You should absolutely make sure that you remove this um, later on. And actually, just to give you a, a better, an easier way to do this, what I would recommend is adding this tag to the end of the URL. Um, but for now, I'm just going to go ahead and do this and this will show the debug down there so you can kind of see the configuration for each user and what it has. So. Let's go back over here and refresh this page. You see candidates are restricted from seeing telephone number. Now you see when I scroll down here, I now have this output that shows me all of the configuration, user ID, um, the placeholders that are supposed to be output, the priority, um, and this is what you can use if you're a developer to kind of debug and go through things if you would like. Um, like I said, make sure, make sure, make sure, please, people, make sure that you disable this um, after you're done testing everything. So we'll change that. And we'll come back over here and you'll see the candidates are restricted from seeing telephone number. Now, if I was an anonymous user and I logged in, <clears throat> I should have seen, instead seen under here company phone, you'll see this. See company phone, register to view. So technically, you would think it would be showing me that instead of the one for the candidate, but it's not. Reason being is because this priority on this visibility is set at 10. So if I show you those groups real quick, you'll see that this one is set at 10, that one, candidate is set at five, and then the one that we just trashed was set at one. I'll go ahead and restore that one real quick just so you can see it. and then we will restore. And you can see here, see I have editor, author, contributor, subscriber, candidate. So since that person, that user account matches the candidate role in this group, priority 10, that means it's gonna match that one first. It's gonna apply those visibilities first. So it's gonna apply all of those ones first. Let's go back to the main page. It's gonna apply all of this configuration first. And then the user is also going to match this candidates group, which has priority five, goes through those, hides those fields based on those placeholders, shows these fields. So that kind of gives you an overview of the way the priority um, and the packages integration works with the uh, WP Job Manager Visibility plugin. Um, hope to see you in some other tutor tutorial videos. Thanks for watching.